folks. Well, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd better start pulling my weight. Um, and I've been fooling around with some new material on our caddy melt pattern, which is a cased caddis larva pattern. So I thought a uh, good time to maybe do a video and show this new material as well. Um, so, so caddis are big ticket items for the trout in our area. Um, I don't know if all caddis larva build cases, but certainly the ones in our area do, or, or enough of them do. Um, they get, they build this, this case from materials that they find in their environment, rocks and debris, and they live in it. And they, when they want to move and eat, they stick their head out and their legs out and they tow the case around and they, they move around and eat and the fish, they're very vulnerable to trout, um, when they're moving around like that and, and the fish love them and they eat them case and all. So the majority of the ones I've seen over the years are typically a chartreuse color with a goldy head or they're a clear creamy color with a blackish head. Um, so this one we're going to tie today will do the chartreuse body with sort of a browny, light brown uh, blackish case. I'll show you some pictures uh, in the video as we go. But like I said, even in the case, uh, trout hunt these things out, um, especially early spring, late fall, right after ice off, you'll find fish stuffed with these things. Uh, so a great pattern to have in your arsenal. Okay, so we're going to start with a Daiichi 1760 number 10 hook. And I'm going to put a 764th gold bead on there. And that's to represent that goldy sort of head that I was talking about. I'm going to use some chartreuse thread because that's what we're going to finish up with. And that's if any of it's going to be exposed, that's the color. For the body, we've got this light olive crystal chenille. Tie that right down into the bend a little bit. And then stop, give yourself a good bead length. Because that body's, that case is going to be built up to almost the, the top, but then we're going to leave enough for a piece of the body in the legs to stick out. All right, so when you're wrapping this crystal chenille up, um, overlap it back a little bit. We want to build quite a, a robust body because that's the case that the larva lives in and we're going to um, end up reducing it a little bit here. You'll see in a minute. So line that up. Tie that off and snip that off. Okay, and at this point, we're just gonna give it a quick whip finish because we're going to want the thread out of the way to get that case looking a little bit more like we want it. And this is the beauty of the plastic chenille. You can just kind of shape it. And as you can see by burning it there, you've got all sorts of different color contours. You've got some, you know, black that could be rocks. You've got the beige color still. And I'll show you some pictures as we go. Okay, pop the thread back on. And then this is that new material I was talking about. This is, I call this Gojo Fritz. Discovered this about a year ago. And I really like it for flies when you want the fibers to all flow in one direction. And I find if you tie it in on with the, the fibers on the top, line that back a little bit. that when you're winding it forward, those fibers will all go one direction. Of course, use your fingers to, to keep them there and coax them there. And remember now, this has got, this is the body of the, the caddis poking out. So you, I, so this material is also good for forming a little bit of a body look as well, because you can really see that cord on the other side. Tie that off, snip. And 
quick finish. And then a little trick. We'll grab a bit of head cement, AKA whatever clear nail polish your wife, significant other, or you can find in the store has. Touch it there. And then when you whip finish this, that'll soak it right in and you won't have to worry about your brush hitting those legs. And that's that. And there you have it, folks. Cased caddis, a.k.a. the caddy melt. You fish that on a sinker right on the bottom and walk it along the bottom, whatever density you need to get to the bottom and crawl it. Or hang it under, uh, suspended under an indicator right on or very close to the bottom and retrieve it back as well. Cheers.